Good evening, welcome to the Spider's Web. Yes, it's me, Stephen. Lad is potting about somewhere. And tonight we're going to be doing an unboxing. I've just been to the Games Club just to pick up two games. And the first of the ones that I'm going to be unboxing, so I'm going to be doing two videos tonight. So I might put, I'll put one on tonight, I um, might put one on tomorrow, depending on how I get through. But, um, as I say, I've been two unboxing videos done. The first one, is one I've been waiting for for a while. It's not actually a standalone game, it's an expansion pack for a game originally done by Games Workshop uh, for three um, versions of it and then uh, they sold off the license to Black Industries who in turn sold off the license to um, Fantasy Flight Games who did the revised fourth edition with Talisman and this one is the Dragon expansion. Yay! So this is, I was going to say this is the penultimate uh, expansion pack but it's not. There's another one coming out next year called the uh, City expansion. The one after this one is Blood Moon, so about uh, werewolves. This one is all about obviously dragons and um, I'm going to zoom back the camera, reposition it, get the box open and uh, let you have a look what's inside because I haven't seen it yet anyway so bear with me first of all I get the knife and putting down the edges and get this cellophane off yeehaw and once the cellophane is off we can have a proper look the box as you can see lovely artwork as usual with fantasy flight games you can see that uh, brief glimpse at what's inside on the back and then once we take the lid off excuse me I'm going to pull I'm going to pause it this for a second and then I can uh, reposition it so you can see inside as I'm taking things out, okay? Okay, so what do we start off with? Well, first of all we get on the advertising bump for other... In fact, there's the uh, next expansion pack for Talisman. The Blood Moon expansion. But we have all the usual bump of advertising for stuff that games work, that games work that the Fantasy Flight do. Uh, so, that can go. And next we have the rule book and um, there's some it gives you a brief history the objects of the game um, you've got the components in the game there's the bits and pieces you can see how the game is set up <coughs> you'll see from the diagram here that the main board is there. This particular one fits right in the middle and it's double sided. So there's the actual there's the same board that is in the on the main board on one side of the on one side of it and uh, a different board or a different cover a different design on the board on the uh, reverse of it. So it gives you all the information about the characters, the dragons that's involved with it, examples of uh, crowning the dragon, I think they call it, and there's various other bits and pieces. I do not know how to play this. Um, I've got the game, I've played the game a few times. This one adds a few more bits and pieces to the mechanics of the game. Uh, what do we have here now? We have various cards once I can get into it. I hate these bags. Right. So what do we have? We have uh, Dragon Slayers. These are all uh, cards you can use for winning the game. What are they called? I can't remember. 
careful what these are called. Oh, never mind. We've got Dragon King. These are various different dragons that they brought out. Verthrax, Coderus, Grillicus. And these are the hero cards. So you've got a Dragon Hunter, a Dragon Rider, a Dragon Priestess, a Fire Wizard, a Conjurer, and a Minotaur. Should have felt another one, never mind. Right, next we have the actual board itself. And it comes in another one of these bags with uh, the old press together thing, baggies I think as well. Oh. Let's put uh. this out, okay. And here's the main board. It's not massive, but then again it doesn't need to be. I'll, I'll just pull the camera up a bit so you can see. It's not massive. Well, as soon as it slots in the middle of sits in the middle of the main board, it doesn't have to be. It has to be the similar size. So that's the board that you would normally see in the middle of the board of the main board of the talisman. There's a few more dragons. The artwork's slightly different to it, but it's basically the same board. And on the opposite side, you've actually got the tower. So you've got your entrance, and you move your way around. Move all the way around up the stairs, across the, up the stairs again, up more stairs, to the crown of command. And uh, that's basically the board. Next we have tokens. We have lots and lots of tokens. So if I just use my knife of opening. As you can see from this, oh, I haven't gone a second, I've just moved this away from the camera so I don't knock anything over. Um, oh, as you can see from the edge there, they're quite thick. So you've got lots of lots of dragon tokens there. I don't know what they all do yet. I need to reread read through the rules for this. Ooh, an impressive lot of tokens. Oh, that's per usual with uh, Fancy Flag, we've got an impressive lot of tokens with it. More tokens, more tokens, more tokens. You've got the crown of command there. More tokens on the other side. Again we've got more the dragons. Dee -dee 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 -dee. There you go, handy crown again. <coughs> Next with Fancy Flight you tend to get a lot of these little cards. And when I say a lot of these little cards, I mean a lot of these little cards. So that's that. That thing you're talking about an inch an inch thick though I would say. But you've not just got that one, you've got that one as well. And on these you get all the um, oh, encounters you can you can get as you're travelling around the board. So I think these ones are the encounter cards. The dragon encounter card. And the other ones. Not sure I do use any more encounter cards or various sort of bits and pieces. See what I can find. These ones, yeah, they look as though they're all more or less encounter cards. There may be other bits, there may be other types of cards in here as well. We'll talk a sit down and have a look through the um, rule book. I don't really know exactly what's in here, but as you can see from the from the covers, phenomenal artwork as usual with um, Fantasy Flight. You do get some lovely, lovely artwork to the cards. So that's the two pounds of cards. Now we get on to the important stuff. The figures. Yay! Okay, so yeah, let's see if we can zoom into that one. There we are. That must be the conjurer. The 
these will look completely different by the time I finish painting them. This must be the conjurer, and that one is something else. Let's have a look. See, let's see if we can put, compare them to the thingy cards. Okay, who's that? We had the conjurer. Um, that must be the dragon priestess. I would say. Yeah, definitely. That's the dragon priestess. Okay, nice looking figure. Problem with Fancy Flight games I've noticed a few times when I've been playing Talisman. I don't know if it's just the Talisman figures or not, but occasionally you can get some where the faces aren't developed very well. Um, and then you have trouble trying to paint them later on. So who would that be? That would be the Dragon Hunter. Yeah, so that's that's your man. And next we have this young chap in here who would be, I would assume, the Fire Wizard. You get some, as I say, you get some lovely figures as long as the moulding works works well and you get a good mould with it. You get some lovely figures with fancy flight games. Unfortunately, I've found a few that haven't been so good. So, this one obviously is a Minotaur. There's your man there. Whether well, these will look any similar to the cards by the time I finish painting them or whether they look a right mess, I don't know. But we'll soon find out. And finally, we've got the Dragon Rider. And there we go, that's an impressive model. I think that's one of the biggest, if not the biggest model that they do, the Talisman. That is quite a nice looking figure. And there's again your picture. Just as reference, I may do these in similar colours. Though then again, I may not. I may do them in my own. Usually, I stick with the similar colour for these because it's it's quite nice to have a similar one. You've got the picture there in front of you, and uh, you can see what they are. So that's Talisman. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. So that was Talisman, uh, the Dragon Expansion. Um, that's going to be something to paint. <laughs> um, I've got a few more to paint as well, so that should keep me quiet. Um, I've got the Hero Figures for Descent 2nd Edition to paint as well. I may do some of those on camera. I'm not sure yet, it all depends. But I shall try my best. And uh, if you like that unboxing, or if you like this video rather, there's going to be another one coming shortly for another game altogether. So, until then, see you again, take care, God bless.